Well, hey guys, welcome back to my shop. My name is Dima, and this is gonna be my last shop update for 2015. And I figured I'd give you guys kind of a, a brief overview of what the last year looked like for my YouTube channel and my videos that I've been releasing. So looking at some numbers for my channel, at the same time last year, actually the same day, I was at 2,585 subscribers and which at that time it was like the best thing ever. I mean, I didn't realize that 2,500 people would be, you know, interested in anything that I do, but you know, it turns out they are. So as of today, I actually have 25,000 subscribers, probably a little bit more when this video is released. And that number is just, I mean, it's just crazy. If you think about it, if you f take all those people and put them in a large room, that's a lot of freaking people. And I truly appreciate everybody that participates in all of my videos, you know, gives me positive feedback, negative feedback, thumbs up, even thumbs down. I mean, we appreciate all of that and I thank every single one of my viewers and subscribers. So for the year 2015, I actually released 72 videos and if you think about it, that's kind of a lot of videos. So out of those 72 videos, there's 7,930,809 minutes of watch time. That is a lot of freaking watch time. I don't think I would ever be able to put that many minutes um, in a year. That's a lot of minutes. And there's 1,675,366 total views for all of my videos combined. That is a lot of freaking views. I know some people have that many views on just one video, but it's just amazing that I have that many views for all of my videos. That's just, I mean, it's crazy. So out of those videos, I have 36,175 likes, which is thumbs up, and 685 dislikes, which is thumbs down, which to me is a pretty good ratio of thumbs up versus thumbs down, which means that a lot more people like my videos compared to the people that don't like it. So I went through all of my statistics on YouTube analytics and I kind of put together six top videos that are most viewed on my YouTube channel. And the number one video, which is pretty much the very first or about one of the very first videos that I've ever released, which is the Loomlight Casting Worthless Wood uh, video. Um, and it's the video that you cast, you take a burl cap and you cast with a Loomlight resin into a call blank which has 568,713 views. That's more than half a million views. That's a lot of views just for one video, for my video anyways. So the number two video is my table saw wing workbench, um, which has 164,619 views, which also is a lot of views for just single videos. My number three video is my workbench built from construction grade lumber which is the bench that I'm recording on. It's not really a build video, it's just kind of an overview of what features I had and how I came up with, which has 138,577 views. Yeah, a lot of people are interested in other people's workbenches. The number four video is my table saw wing workbench part two, which you'd think that part one and part two would have the same number of views, well, it doesn't. The part two, which is my video number four, has 100,000 views less than part one, which is 64,594, which means that whoever watched part one, 100,000 of those people didn't really watch part two, which means 100,000 people got the point from just the first video. Or they watched it and couldn't care less and just didn't want to watch the second one. Whichever, I still appreciate the views and the feedback. Number five is my cast your own bank Sia pod pen blanks with a loom light, which is also one of my favorite topics in my shop and one of the favorite things, and one of the things that I really like to do is cast random things in a loom light. That video has 58,056 views. Number six is the loom light cast bank Sia pad turning which I took the blank for video number five, which is the cast, and I turned it on the lathe. That video has 57,000 views, which means everybody who watched the casting video also watched the turning video, 
which is a pretty good number. That's usually the goal I would have in any video that I would release in a two-part series. I'd want people to watch both of the episodes to make sure they get all the information that they need. So in my most disliked video, I only have one which is kind of strange because that is my most popular video. So it kind of you know, explains why it's the most hated and the most liked. So the most hated and the most liked video is the number one video, which is the Lumilite Casting Worthless Wood into Call Blanks, which is my number one video out of my whole channel, with 248 dislikes and 3,876 likes. And if you ask me, that is a pretty darn good ratio. I tried to go through all of my videos to kind of figure out what are the highlights of 2015. And to be honest with you, every single video that I released, I'm really happy about. Pretty much this first year, um, I would consider it my first year on YouTube and everything was new, I was learning, all the experiences I went through, all the friends that I met, all the things that I've done, everywhere that I've went, all the things that I've purchased, done, built. I mean, everything was just awesome in 2015. I really can't wait till 2016. And with the awesome subscribers that I have, which are really the backbone of my YouTube channel and the stuff that I do and the stuff that I can really you know, buy here really would not be possible without you guys. And I wanna thank every single one of you and shake all 25,000 hands if I could. Um, I bet you know, if we have a huge party, that would be one awesome party. So in the beginning of the year, I actually purchased uh, old tools off of eBay with the thought that I'm going to restore them. Well, I kind of got lazy and I didn't want to do any of that. So I ended up buying premium tools to replace the tools I bought, you know, vintage tools that I bought. I bought premium tools to replace them so that way I don't have to restore them. So with that, I have got um, pretty much three hand tools that I want to give away to my viewers. Now, I'm gonna have to apologize in advance. Um, this is only gonna be for the US because it's really expensive to ship anything of that weight overseas. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. The other thing is I would like you to be a subscriber of mine. Um, I really won't know if the person that's requesting these is not a subscriber. I'm just gonna take your word for it. So if you be honest with me, Pretty much karma will be honest with you. So shoot me an email. You'll find my email address down in the description. Um, shoot me an email letting me know which one of the three you would want and why you would want it. Don't just ask for it because you want to put it on the shelf to make it look good. Let me know that you're going to use it. I really want these tools to go to good use to somebody that's either starting out or would like to restore these and put them in pristine order. So the first tool which is the Stanley block plane. Uh, this one does not have the adjustable mouth. It's, you know, it's fixed. Um, I think I got this on eBay beginning of this year. Um, it needs to be kind of cleaned up. I don't know if the, the sole is flat or not. So this is the first one. The second one is a Stanley number 78 rabbit plane. It's missing the fence. Uh, I bought it this way. I'm thinking I was gonna make a fence for myself but I have not done anything to this tool since I got it. It's gonna need a lot of cleaning up to do. Um, the blade is probably dull and it's pretty rusty, needs to be cleaned up. So this is the second tool. The third tool is a chisel set which has a half inch, three quarter inch, and the one inch. Now, I don't know the brand of these. My sister gave them to me um, a few days ago because she doesn't use them and she won them in a game somewhere. And I honestly have a whole bunch of chisels here. I'd rather have somebody use these. Um, like I said, I don't know who the brand of these. I don't know if they're good or bad, but you know what? They're free. So if you don't have a chisel set and you like to play around with these, um, it's a good set for you. So these are the three items that I want to give away to someone. You don't have to pay anything. I'll cover the shipping within the United States. And all you gotta do is just shoot me an email telling me which one you want or why you want it, and we'll go from there. I haven't figured out how I'm gonna choose who gets it. And hopefully I'm not gonna get like a million emails that I'm gonna spend hours and hours shifting, you know, sifting through them. 
hopefully maybe three people will send me an email it would make it easy on me. I really truly appreciate every single one of you who uh, watches my channels, comments on all my videos, and gives me a positive feedback, even negative feedbacks. I mean, we welcome those as well. I truly appreciate you. Um, I'm really happy about 2015, looking forward to 2016. I've got already a few projects scheduled for the beginning of the year that I'm designing that I'm probably gonna have plans available and I'm really looking forward to it. So you guys have a happy new year. Get out to your shop, do something, build something, make something, design something, whatever. Just get out there, have fun, but be safe doing it. See you guys next year.